If you sign up for a career in education, then you expect to be teaching your pupils not saving their lives. Yeah, but that's exactly what happened to our next guest when their student, Rahul Patel, collapsed in front of them. Here's his incredible story. It was 19th of December and I was at school with my PE lesson and I don't re remember what happened next. Rahul was in the middle of a PE lesson and he just collapsed. Myself and my colleagues had just been trained in first aid and CPR. Um, so when we got down to Rahul, it was um, quite apparent that he wasn't breathing. Um, we then started with CPR and mouth to mouth um, while someone got the defibrillator. I walked into the sports hall, into a scene that I would never want to experience again. Um, potentially a child who is not breathing on the floor and my staff and the rec centre staff performing CPR. When I got there the paramedics were there, the air ambulance crew was there and they were already working on him. When we got to scene, they had already defibrillated the patient once and were performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which is CPR, um, to an outstanding level. One of the paramedics came and held my hand and said to me that he was breathing on his own, which was such a relief. In my opinion, if the young lad hadn't had the prompt care, he would not have survived the incident. Wow. Oh my goodness. Well, thankfully, that didn't happen. It didn't end badly. Rahul is here with his mum and Mr. Maine, who you saw there in the film, and Mrs. Rocky, who was also there when Rahul collapsed. My goodness. Well, here you are, Rahul. That's thankfully safe mm. and doing well. And you two had just had that CPR training only a few weeks before. Uh, you must have gone over in your mind what might have happened if you hadn't had that. Yeah, definitely. What do you think would have been the case? It could have been a much worse outcome, obviously. It was nice, it was fresh in your mind, so you just go into autopilot and mm. everything just clicks into place and you just start doing what you need to do. Wow, Mies, I mean, extraordinary that they'd had that training. It's extraordinary, the result. How long did it take for Rahul to recover? Well, he was in hospital for two weeks mm. and from the day he actually had the cardiac arrest and then it took him another seven weeks to fully recover from it all. Mm. Wow. Now, we have a little confession to make. To you two. Um, to you two on the end here, because you're not just here to tell us what happened and also reinforce how important CPR training is. Because of what you did, we wanted to reward you because we've been awarding teachers all week for doing something extra special and extra major with our uh, Golden Apple Thank mm -hmm. You Teacher Award. And I know, Rahul, you want to say something about this, don't you? Yeah. I just want to say thank you to the to those two for saving my life. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here right now speaking to you guys on TV, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, so a huge thank you to you. I mean, you know, what you did kind of is absolutely extraordinary by any measure, isn't it? What, how do you feel this morning at the fact that, you know, you, you saved a life and, and you've got the young chap here saying thank you for that? I think as a teacher, nothing can prepare you for something like this. Obviously, you never dream of having to have to do something like this but the result has been the best for everyone and it's brilliant that Rahul's with us today yeah and that of course in itself is the best prize but yeah. we do have something a little <laughs> something extra more for tangible you. <laughs> <laughs> i just wonder if simon can bring in lovely our beautiful golden apples so um here we go mr main there we go thank that's uh, a golden apple for you to say thank you teacher thank you very and much. there we go that's for you look. as well you can pick them up just so everybody can see and is little... they're very prized these golden apples mm -hmm. yes they are very <laughs> yeah and also we're sending you off for breakfast this morning as uh, at the Shard, a trip to the 72nd floor of the Shard. So I hope are you, you good with heights? Fear of yeah. heights. There we go. You are Thank good you at very heights. Much. Very good. <laughs>